Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. I'm Yitz Wein, the rabbi of Young Israel H of Las Vegas. I'd like to thank Rabbi Hammer and the National Council for inviting me to be part of this program and also invite you the next time you're in Las Vegas to swing on by the Young Israel. Now, I want to share with you an incident in this week's Parsha that is often overlooked because of the, there are so many dramatic stories, yet at the same time, I believe it's one of the most important concepts that is actually found in the Sedra. You know, right after Yaakov meets Esau, and he gets out of that situation alive and pretty much unscathed. And then Dina is abducted. God comes to Yaakov and gives him an instruction. And the instruction is as follows. Go up to Basel, dwell there, make an altar there to God who appeared to you when you fled from Esau, your brother. In other words, the Almighty was turning to Yaakov and saying, Many years ago, when you fled for your life, and then you re-encountered Esau, your life was in jeopardy. It was so tenuous. It's time to say thank you. Not only say thank you, but set up a physical monument so that you can have gratitude. Children and children's children can have gratitude. Gratitude is not such a simple thing. That whereas this is the first time that God is commanding any of the Avos to set up an altar, and by Avram and Yitzhak and Yaakov beforehand, they always were overcome with spontaneous gratitude. Gratitude is not inherently natural for all of us. As a matter of fact, when you go through Chazal on the issue of gratitude, you'll find that the first case of ingratitude was really Adam and Gan Eden. But after he ate from the fruit, God comes to him and says, Hey, Adam, did you eat from the, why did you eat from the fruit? And, and then Adam blames Chava. It's the woman you gave me. She gave me the fruit and I ate. And from that moment, Rashi says that Adam became a kafui tov. He was denier of the good. The Chavas Levavas explains further that because we are so helpless at the beginning of our lives for many years, and we're dependent upon our parents and others to give and give and give to us, what happens is it gets ingrained in us to be receivers and not givers and not have gratitude. It's remarkable how some parents sometimes all of a sudden wake up and say, my kid, he's a teenager, he's so ungrateful. Well, hello, your whole life you've been giving and giving and giving and not necessarily teaching him to say thank you. This is why we have to teach our children to say thank you. But the Almighty is teaching us to say thank you too. When you look in the various mitzvahs, mitzvahs like, eating matzah on Pesach, to remember that God brought us out of Egypt, dwelling in a sukkah, putting on tefillin. Yes, even Kiddush on Shabbos evening, all these times we are reminding ourselves and others of the enormous kindness that God is constantly giving us. Those of us that daven from a siddur every day, we say berachas hashachar. One of the most marvelous, the morning blessings, one of the most marvelous setups for teaching us to have daily gratitude for all the blessings that God is giving us. Understanding how important this is will make us better people, will make us kinder people, and, and make us happier people. Understanding we are all fallible, that so often we can be recipients of God's goodness. We can pray for the Almighty gives us divine protection and help. It can come, and then we can go two or three days and say, oh my gosh, I forgot to say thank you, Hashem. That happens all the time. Knowing how important gratitude is, understanding that it is not natural for us to always express our gratefulness to the Almighty or to our spouses or to our children, recognizing that this is one of the primary tasks of our lives will help all of us become better people and happier people. I'm Rabbi Yitzwein of the Young Israel Asia of Las Vegas.